Sabrina and Ravina and we're going to record a bridal dupatta video because it's very requested and um, on Sabrina we did a quick little bridal updo don't judge it it's just it was really quick for the dupatta okay. you're gonna need some safety pins you want strong heavy-duty safety pins where we mostly get ours are from Walmart you're also gonna need some u-shaped pins so they look like that and you can find those at like Cosmoprof, Sally's Beauty Supply, basically anywhere that sells bobby pins. And you're also going to need some bobby pins so you can cross pin the safety pins. Towards the end you're going to need some spirals for the need to stay in place. And you can also find those at Walmart. Alright, so the first way we're going to show you how to do a bridal de porta is called the cape. Yes. We don't, there's not really a word for it. And when you do this you want to make sure that the corners are even. Sarah will show you these corners. You don't want like one longer and one shorter. You want to make sure they're pretty even. And basically what you're going to do is drape it over the updo. Can you put your head down a bit, Samara? And then just hold it with your hand here so that all the weight's not pulling on her head. And then we're going to need some safety pins. Thank you. So you're going to need safety pins. You're going to start off with pinning one right here. Basically, Just where the, um, Net meets the border the starts, yeah. <clears throat> you're going to use that as support, and then again, because you don't want all the weight to go onto the net so it rips, you want to do it into the border as well. So you're going to put one right in the middle, like that. And this is going to be your base for the cross pinning. So, yes, you're going to take bobby pins, and you're going to cross pin them into the safety pin and also into the updo. So we've done the center, and now we're also going to place safety pins on the side as well, on that side, and this side so that this sits nicely along her head. So this pin, you're going to take one pin and you're going to pin it into the bun, cross it, push that in. But you're going to make sure that the safety pin is like in the middle of that bobby pin. Mm -hmm. So you know how I pinned this safety pin going this way, crossing this way? Now you're going to cross it the other way. Basically you're cross pinning them. And cross pinning means going like this, making a little X with the pins. You're going to be doing that around the whole crown. Yeah, basically wherever you place these safety pins. So. Put this one up. So there's actually two ways to do the next step. What you can do is you're going to take the border and you basically pin it to the shoulders, like so. Or you can make the border go this way and you pin back here, like so. But it all depends on the bride's preference. So you're going to pick which way would you like your dupatta to go today? Um, this way. This way? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So safety pins are needed. So you're going to take your safety pin and you're basically going to pin it to the blouse. Um, she's not wearing a bridal blouse today, she's just wearing a sweatshirt, so we're going to pin it to her sweatshirt. And you want to make sure you're going from the inside because you don't want the pin to be shown. Next time she's straight Okay, so we've done one side and now we're going to do the other side. So now what you're going to want to do is take your bobby pins and U-shaped pins and you're basically going to take these pins and just pin them all into this whole bridal updo area and you just poke it in, it goes straight through the net and then you take another one and you're going to basically X them just like you did when we put them up here. 
And you're gonna do that all around because you really wanna make sure this is secure. And another really good pin is these um, spirally pins, which I said you can get at Walmart. Basically what you do with this pin is you're going to puncture it through the net and you're going to twist it in. And these are really good, like they're not gonna come out because some of the U-shaped pins kind of tend to like pop up a little bit, but these aren't gonna go anywhere. So I'm just gonna put a few of these in. So the last step for the journey is basically you're gonna pin some pins into the back of the blouse back here because you don't want the journey to keep pulling on her head and pulling her head back. You, you want the weight to be lifted so that her head can stay like this. Lift it up a bit right here and where it's lifted, you're gonna pin to the blouse. So let's do one side. And you would actually go from underneath, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna pin it from the outside. So this is basically how you do the cape and I find most brides end up doing it this way. It's probably the easiest and it just kind of like hangs in the back here. Anyways, we're going to show you guys the next way now. The second most popular way to do the dupatta is called a bukkal. The way the bukkal looks like is like this. Where the juni flares around makes kind of like a V shape. Yeah. So we're going to show you how to do the bukkal. As you can tell, the first couple of steps are the same, so we just kept the dupatta as is. What you're going to need to do then is pin the dupatta back here, like we did in the other step. Yeah. Then you're going to swing the chunni over. Making a V in the front. Maybe a little bit higher. Making a V in the front to the other shoulder. Behind this side of the dupatta. So I'll just hold this back. Yeah. You're gonna pin on the shoulder again. So you're gonna pin on the shoulder again. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take the other corner, so the buckle corner, you're going to do the accordion fold, which means if it's like the flares of the accordion. Basically how you do the bleak up for a sorry. So we're going to just do the accordion fold right here. So once the accordion fold is done, you're going to take it to the back and pin the juni back here. You can move it a little bit back adjusting the accordion folds as needed. And of course you're gonna safety pin it again. Yeah. Right you're gonna safety pin the border onto the jinni as well. So it doesn't flare out or in. Then the last step is pinning it to the shoulder like we did on the other end, like this. There you go. And there you guys have it, the buckle.